It's the WTTS Background Check with Matt Pelser. Twice a week at this time, we dig a little deeper on a song. And today, I thought we'd visit the song that contains today's date. Early morning, April 4, Pride in the Name of Love by U2. Now, this is, of course, in reference to the date of Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination, except it happened in the evening, an error that Bono sometimes corrects in concert. This is one of two songs on the album The Unforgettable Fire that pays tribute to King. The others, the more obviously titled closing song, MLK. Pride was released as the lead single a month before the album came out in the fall of 84, and it's easily the most successful song on the record. Like a lot of U2 songs, the musical inspiration came from a sound check. Uh, sound checks were always recorded. When the song was ready and it came time to record, they, they just couldn't get it right. Even recording at the inspirational Slane Castle in the northeast of Ireland couldn't coax the right performance. Finally, it was in a traditional recording studio where everything fell into place, partly because they built a concrete wall behind the drum kit for some extra reverb. Listen for that. It's one of the most enduring pop hits from the 80s, U2's Pride, and it's this morning's WTTS background check.